Keep the change, you filthy animal. What up, dude, bro? Spider Vinger Miller. Ignore the beautiful blazing fire behind me, but we are looking at the Busby Alpha Auto 72, a literal freaking Tommy gun. It's actually pretty good. So let's get into it. Included is the blaster itself, 72 darts, stock, and big drum. External overview starting up at the front. Of course, no in strike barrel lug. This is a Busby product, but up above, we do have a fixed vertical grip. Uh, it's not removable by any means, but because of that, it's really rock solid. Well, as rock solid as it can be, it's Busby plastic, so uh, not the best. Uh, up above, we do have two iron sights and an included optic. This optic is kind of like a. Um, a little bit of a grenade launcher site and it's not the best but it works but again if you don't really want it you can just take that off the blaster and it doesn't affect anything at all uh back behind we do have an unjamming door to get to there you just flick this open and that allows you to get your fingers in there to clear our jams and malfunctions i have not had a jam or malfunction with this blaster i've had it for quite a few days and i've loaded a few drums of this thing because it is so much fun and now back behind we do actually have the drum to remove the drum you just strike this button right here and you pull out this peg and then you can take out the entire drum this drum holds 72 sh rounds 72 that is insane and to load it is very convenient so each slot there's two little holes and you load those just by kind of wrong dart shoving these in like that you just shove it right on in there but each slot holds two darts and this is geniusly engineered because you can see here there are two chambers that hold a dart and what the what it does is as you fire it chambers through every single one first the top and then it's chambers through the bottom it's a very cool system and it works surprisingly well and it works on a similar system to the dart zone uh, tomahawk 60 but a little more easier to load if i do say so myself and back behind we do have the trigger the trigger is a fully automatic system but it is cool because this trigger means is the rev switch and the firing trigger so you just pull it halfway and you could rev up the blaster and then you finish the trigger pull and it shoots a full auto stream which is awesome and now getting to the grip the grip on this blaster is ginormous uh, Busby grips are never usually that great. This one is really good, but it's also huge. As you can see here, my hand is like, <laughs> it, it's sitting comfortably, but it's like, dude, this is a huge grip and I love it. And on this side, we do have the battery door. You take this off and then you install six AA batteries, which leads to a pretty good performance boost. And now back to the stock. So this is a removable stock. And what's this? It's an N-Strike stock attachment point. So, if you want to get your favorite Nerf stock and throw it on this Busby blaster, you can, even though it's not going to fit the best. So thank you, Busby, for actually being cross-compatible. However, the if you put another stock on here, uh, it gets too long for comfort. Like, I have to expand my my <laughs> my span here. I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude. I'm about 5'11", and this stock makes it too long for me. 
And note on the included stock, this stock is an end strike stock attachment point, but is not compatible with other nerf stocks. It's because of its shape. Like, I assume if you were to shave this off just a little bit, you could probably get it to work. But it's okay that this doesn't work because it's a pretty short stock anyway. And it's a lot cheaper plastic. So I'm not really complaining that this is, isn't compatible with other blasters, but it's okay. And plus, I think it works better on the blaster because the ergonomics of it make the stock actually surprisingly comfortable. And I'm kind of thankful for that because I don't need something that long. Well, that is an external overview of the blaster itself. But one thing I do want to go over is the included darts. So if you open these out of the box and you don't know what these are, these are the, the Busby... Uh, long distance darts, or as we in the community call them, nipple head darts. Get it? Because a uh, nipple. Yeah, it looks like a long nipple. <laughs> but they are completely different from the dart zone waffle head dart, which thankfully is on the shelf right next to this thing. So if you're going for other darts, go with these ones. These are much more accurate and they feed pretty well in this blaster. These feed as well as they can be, but they're not of the best quality and they are not accurate at all. So. To save yourself the trouble, buy the darts and waffle head darts and just completely forgo these darts. But I think I've given this thing enough of an overview. Now I will show you firing. Shooting the nipple head darts. Alright, I want to kind of go over what happened in that firing demo and why I was jokingly bored. So, the reason why is because I'm using a little bit of different batteries, and I've had this proven to me by Brickasaurus227, Walcom S7, uh, Coop772, and a few others, because the battery type does kind of depend on how fast it goes. It goes pretty slow because these are very crappy batteries, and <laughs> this kind of proved it. So, don't buy Dollar Tree batteries anymore folks they 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 don't work the way you want them to but overall <laughs> the firing this thing was fun it's literally a full-on tommy gun like you could shoulder it but i think it's better to shoot it from the hip because it's so much fun and the performance is actually pretty good i believe with uh air warriors darts or busby darts however you want to call them it was getting about i think 80 fps uh, if not, I could have a picture up on the screen from Coop doing his. But that is all the objective information I could provide on this blaster. Not in my personal opinion. Overall, my opinion is actually really positive. This thing is very fun, but it's not just fun as in like it's a Tommy gun fun. It's actually effective in a full on battle. This is the kind of blaster to where like if you are like going around like if you are just like a first time comer to the hobby, this is perfect for you. You can pick up darts, you could scavenge, put them in, and then just go out and fire. Now keep in mind, um, 
if you're going to be running around, you may deal with this from time to time. Because this rotates a lot. Shut up. But it's not bad at all. If you can get used to it, it's good. And just keep in mind, if it ever rotates out, just rotate back to where you are and then go back to shooting more. But again, very positive opinion on this thing. It is really fun, actually. I do have a few complaints. You know me, as a product reviewer, I have to have complaints because if not, I'm not doing my job. One is just the, the plastic quality. It's Busby plastic. We've kind of gotten used to it by now. But this one is at least one of their better ones. Like some of the plastic feels really good. Some of it still feels cheap. Uh, my second gripe is kind of just this. That's a little bit of a gripe, but again, it kind of gets solved by its capacity. This is 72 shots. You hand this to someone, they are going to demolish on the field. Just don't tell them about that. Otherwise, people could get angry. And my last complaint is kind of due to the stock attachment. Now, keep in mind, I am very happy that this is compatible with other stocks. It's just other stocks can feel too long on this thing. I feel like a retaliator stock would even do this thing justice. But it's weird how this stock fits on the blaster well. I can't I can't put my finger on it, but it just it feels better on the blaster and it's not like terribly short. It's actually at a decent length. So th that's kind of mitigated with the included stock, but I just wanted to kind of point that out because that's a little bit of a eh kind of thing. Now to the question to buy or not to buy. If you are a just a like first comer to nerf. If you're just wanting a good blaster that can last you for a while, yes, I definitely recommend this blaster. This blaster is the kind of blaster that if you just buy this and like a few hundred rounds, you're going to be set all day at a Nerf War. You don't have to carry multiple of these. You don't have to like scavenge all the time. Like if you just have one of these and a bunch of darts, you are going to be set for your entire match. And that is something that... I can appreciate it pretty well. Now, of course, the rate of fire can be hit and miss for people. I'm better with a slower rate of fire than a faster rate of fire because it helps you conserve your ammo. But that's just my opinion. Plus, also, I love going trigger happy. And even with this blaster, to be honest, I could finger bang faster than this thing could shoot full auto. But don't don't mind the mythical spider in the background, people. But overall. Again, positive recommendation. Now, this is comparable to uh, the Mad Mega Barrel from X-Shot or just the Adventure Force Villainator, but they're, all three are great options, and this is a root, another great option on the market. So, thank you so much for watching my video, dude bros. Much love, blast on, and stay tactical.